Okay, y'all, we are back. As you can see, I am doing the most clearly because what? Two videos in one day. That is crazy. But if you haven't watched my reaction video to like Nicki Minaj featuring Doja, you guys should watch that like right about now. It is the latest video. So yeah, just go and check it out and let me know what you think about it. Anyway, for today, I have a surprise for y'all. Like the man that people have been loving, the man that like people have been talking about on Twitter, on social media, like everywhere. It is lit. Let's just check out who we have right here. Hello, people. This is Biko. Welcome to Nyasha's channel. Hit the subscribe button and activate notifications. Guys, Biko, Biko has joined the squad. You know what I'm saying? He has joined the Nabi squad. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. But yeah, basically, we have Biko and I asked him a few questions that were like prominent questions on Twitter. And I asked him a few questions that were like, everywhere on Twitter, like people wanted to know some things, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, let's just get into the video. All right guys, so people were hit, hey? People were hit by this wave of Waniwa Wepamoyo. I mean, everyone was literally in it wherever you were. I don't know how it started, but like, I went on Twitter and I saw that, whoa, people are talking about Biko, they're talking about Noku, they're talking about Mentawa, and I'm like, who the hell are these people? Like, where are they coming from? What is this, you know? And then, obviously, I went ahead, I googled it, and I was like, hold up, there's a whole series, and that's what people are watching, like, that's what people are talking about. Let me just readjust my tongue. Anyway, that's what people are talking about. And yeah, I was like, hey, okay, I need to watch this. And literally, the moment you start watching episode one, you are hooked all the way through to episode 10 when it finishes. I was like, I, I slept at 6 a.m. watching this thing. How How is this even happening, you know? And it's like short, short episodes. So you don't feel like time is going, but at the same time it is, if you understand what I'm saying. So yeah, that's basically what happened. And I watched it and I liked it. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed like all the characters. And you know, Biko is the funny guy. And I was like, hold up. I need like a Q&A with this guy to just hear, hear his side of the story, hear what he is all about. And that is what I have brought to you guys today. I basically asked him some of the questions that you guys had to ask on Twitter and some of my own questions that I wanted to know. Question number one was, as the funny guy in the show, do you follow a strict script or you can add your own humor? So, yeah, I, I just wanted to know if Biko's like a funny guy. So, yeah, let's hear it. What? Man, I follow the street like I'm a law-abiding citizen. I always follow the script, people. Nothing edited, nothing removed. I just follow the script straight out from start to end. This is actually kind of shocking to me. Like, I, I would like to think that most comedians out there or like the funny people in the show have a little bit of space, you know, to just adjust their script and like add a little bit of spice. Because, yeah, I, I guess that's just what I think. But I'm not, I have not been in into acting and I don't think I'll ever go into it. I don't think I can like memorize scripts and stuff. But yeah, I, I really thought that sometimes he just, you know, because some of the things that he says are like, hold up, was that part of the script? Like... But anyway, yeah, he says he just follows the script as it is. So I'm guessing the, the real funny person here is the person who writes the script. Maybe I should get him on here. But anyway, let's go on. Question two was, are we wrong to assume that Biko likes Chido? Because we've seen the vibes, guys. We've seen the vibes that are happening there. Like, you know, Chido is blushing here and there. So yeah, I wanted to know. I just wanted to know. What? Man, I mean, Chido is... I need Zungu people. How can I like someone and it's Zungu? Plus, Biko is just is single by design. Okay, I think we can all agree. Chido, hey, Chido is, yeah, it's, she's just that person. You know what it is? Like she is hot headed, and I need Zungu, like like he said. So apparently apparently they don't like each other guys but mm, i mean i think something's gonna happen in season two okay like let's just see how this goes but i really i would really say that there is a little bit of some sum right there i think maybe chido likes biko and biko doesn't like chido you see like the other way around then maybe it makes sense i don't know but question three is where does biko stay he always just appears because guys like if you've seen 
that time they say that um man tower slept at biko's place but we never see him coming out of biko's place like we've never even seen where biko comes from he just appears he just appears by man tower's place or wherever like you know so we want to know where the hell does he stay <laughs> but man tower got told i want to i got out of jm kwedu the other time when i got into kumba mangana shona she like i have a place where i stay people but problem is if i come back to you when the kids need shit or is it Ah, guys, guys, because now what you want to know about Kobe? Like, clearly, he does not want to tell us. He just said mental slept at his place and couldn't kids net. But like, we we actually want to know: Does he stay close to mental? Does he stay where exactly? Does he stay? I think it would be like nice to just get a little, a little scene where they so even even Chido. I guess they're not main characters. Well, they are main characters, but like they're building characters. If that makes sense, so. I guess they have to show where Mentawa and and um Noku stay before they show where Chido and Biko stay and like yeah you know so I guess it makes sense I guess it makes sense maybe we'll see where Biko stays in season 2 so let's just like stay tuned and all uh question 4 was who is Dillon and is he anything like Biko My name is Dillon but my friends call me Dio I love playing board games and I'm a handsome guy Biko is so much untidy so we are two parallel people. We are not the same. We're just the same in that we are carefree taste but yeah, we are so much different. Probably we just the same because to to end some taste as well. Yeah. Okay, so he says that Biko is scruffy, which which we can all agree. I mean like wow, but he's still funny in his scruffiness, lucky enough. So yeah, um he says that they're they're not exactly the same, but We never know. We never know. In that sense, in that sense, they're not the same. He's a clean guy, and because like Scruffy, but maybe like in everything else and like human stuff, they might be the same. So there you have it. There you have it. Um, so just to get to know a bit about this character, I asked Dylan if he sees he sees himself pursuing an acting career. Like I asked, um, do you plan to pursue acting as a career? And this is what he had to say. Of course, of course. I want to be a professional actor and I want to be internationally acclaimed if possible and God willing. Yeah, it's all I want to do. It brings satisfaction to my heart and I'm so happy when I get a script, when I yes and when I shoot a film. Okay, so he actually wants to like go into this as a whole career like professionally and everything. So yeah, I think I think this has been a good platform like um what do I wear for more has helped him. in in to get like recognition because now people know him and they know him as the funny guy so that might open up doors for him i think that is going to open up doors for him like a lot of doors because now people know that he can act so yeah i uh, i'm just hoping that he gets more acting roles he like does the most you you never know you might see your boy on like international screens soon enough so you know what i'm saying like he should just keep keep at it like keep at it keep pursuing this dream because you know what it 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 can happen. It can happen for you. Um question 6 is if the tables were turned, don't you think Biko would have hustled for Mantawa to go with him to Blaua? I think Biko would do anything for Mantawa. Biko is just a a warm-hearted person. He would actually it sold some of his positions. Take on at least to Biko had a lot of positions and now. I think you would have sold one of his bags and yeah. and got a ticket for Mantawa and they would have made it they say go blow away and I, i think Mantawa just lost the pro code because it was a, a simple plan play football but i had to go to Blawayo and then from Blawayo the next stop was supposed to be Old Trafford Mantawa what got into your head man what got into you now guys i think i think what Mantawa did was such like a move like that was just so wrong i mean obviously he wanted him to go but at the same time you guys made a promise to each other and he's been your manager this whole time he's been forcing you to train and then next thing next thing you don't even fight for his ticket like when he got the when he got the ticket from from coach He didn't even like put up a fight, you know, when coach was like, "No, Atiti Jema, what did he say? He said Atiti Jema manager Mugeto or something like that." And I was like, "Whoa. 
nigga, you just gonna, you just gonna take that like it is and take your ticket and go home. Like, that's just wrong. And like he said, like Biko, Biko would have hassled guys. Like Biko was out here selling his shoes for Man Tower. He was, he was doing the most only for this nigga to stand him up and go to Blawaya by himself. I was so hurt. I was like, the disrespect like what is wrong with you as a person don't you have feelings so yeah so we've heard it like biko definitely would have hustled he would have gone above and beyond to get that ticket from man tower if if places were to be swapped around like if roles were switched so yeah you know what it is like sometimes you just have those friends that are like oh okay shop like i'm just gonna drop this person it's gonna be okay that is man tower for you but anyway the last and final question I asked was, what can we expect from Biko in season two? If you can tell us. Uh, season two, guys, it's going to be bigger and better. It's going to be a blast. I think I'm going to give a, a performance that I will remember the whole of my career. Even when I'm 75 years old, I want to look back and say, Biko in season two was my best character ever. So, yeah. Just look. Yeah. I am super excited. He said he is going to give the performance of a lifetime. Guys, do you know what that means? It means season two is going to be spicy. It's going to be hot. It's going to be popping. It's going to be better than season one. And we already talking about season one. So I can only imagine like, woo. I, I mean, this is definitely putting Zim, Zim acting on another level. We are like, filtrating the industry we are penetrating it we are trying to to you know gain our recognition and i think i think this has done really really well like everyone's watching it and everyone's talking about it so yeah it's good to know that season two is gonna be a banger it's gonna be hot and i really can't wait i personally can't wait i'm pretty sure they aren't filming now because of like the corona thing but i'm hoping that once this whole thing dies down these guys start filming season two you know what i'm saying yeah Please, please do. But anyway, guys, that has been Biko. Let's hear if he has any few words to say before I end the video. Guys, go follow up your boy by Instagram. It's Misty underscore Dylan Mafu. Twitter, it's Misty Dylan09. Facebook page, Dylan Mafu Kids slash Biko. Just go like it up. And I also want to thank someone so important right now, Misty Chamwe Kutaka Pablo. Go like his Instagram page, Brighton Munaku, and the Facebook page, Chamunorwa Chamu, Matanda Boto. Peace out. Okay, so for today, you got to know a bit about Biko, a bit about Dylan, like the mixture, everything, everything, and you got your answers for the questions that you've been asking on Twitter and stuff, and a bit about season two, a bit of insight, you know what I'm saying? Like, we are waiting on that. We are really waiting for that. But for now, it's been good. It's been great. Like, comment, and subscribe below. Share. Do what you gotta do. Your girl is out. Um, so, question four was, who is Dylan? I think it's, how do I say it? Who is Dylan? Okay, I would say...